Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of That Tattoo Guy Tattoo News, or TTGTN for short. My name is Tyler Nicholas and I will be your host today. And this is my co-host, Chester Moist Muffins. How you doing today, Chester? Fantastic. Our top story tonight, Kat Von D finds herself in a copyright infringement suit over a tattoo that she did back in 2017. More on that in a minute. But first, let's get a word from our chief meteorologist, Tan Big Ones. Tan, how are things going out there? Fantastic. I'm just getting word in now that a shocking development, everyone on the cast of The Bachelor has grown a mustache to assert dominance over each other. This is a shocking story and we will keep you posted as we learn more and as the story develops. Up next we have a call in from Will Blow Hard. He is a tornado expert to weigh in on his findings on why we are experiencing such a great tornado surge in our area. We didn't have tornadoes here until we started putting into traffic circles. Because on the count of you want to know why? That when people go round and round in circles, it causes disturbance in the atmosphere and causes tornadoes. Thank you, Dr. Blowhard. With recent political tempers flaring between Republicans and Democrats, we're going to head over to Boob Newcomb, and he's going to show us a clip on how to quickly de-escalate a volatile argument situation. Trespassing on my property! You didn't win shit in my yard! Wait, wait, wait. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Thank you, Boob. Uh, that was very enlightening. On today's segment on why to get tattooed by a reputable tattoo artist and not your homie, we have a viewer's submission of a lion tattoo that may fade over time, but the shame of the tattoo never will. How much you pay for this? 25. And that's a lion? That's a shih tzu. Are you? <laughs> that's a shih tzu. Fantastic. Now on to our top story about Kat Von D being involved in a copyright infringement suit over a tattoo that she did back in 2017. If you aren't aware of who Kat Von D is, here's a photo of her. Moving on. An LA-based photographer named Jeffrey Sedlick is suing Kat over a tattoo that she did with his photo of Miles Davis as a reference. Sedlick created this photo back in 1989 and it was published in a cover story in August 1989 in a magazine called Jazzes. Mr. Sedlick filed a 31-page complaint in California courts on February 7th, claiming that he is the sole and exclusive owner of that portrait of Miles Davis. He also claims that he has sold non-exclusive rights to artists over the years in order for them to reproduce that photo. Sedlick is requesting $150,000 per work depicted, the tattoo including advertising, marketing, and promotional materials. He's also requesting that the tattoo be taken down. He claims that he reached out to Kat Von D and she ignored him. Now this is a quote from Mr. Sedlick stating that Kat not only used Mr. Sedlick's photograph without permission or license, but she also took credit for Mr. Sedlick's creation as her own. Okay, so I wanna hear your thoughts down in the comments section about this entire situation, but here are my thoughts, my feelings on this entire situation. This guy is a crybaby, and here's why I think that. First off, it's not an exact replication of the photo. It's a tattoo. She's taking credit for the tattoo that she did based on the photo. If the courts listen to this guy's complaint and side with him, that means every tattoo artist that has ever used a photo reference from a movie or a music video or whatever image off of Google is now in danger of being sued. I can understand if the photo was taken and printed on some t-shirts that was sold on her website or something like that to where it's an actual reproduction of the actual photo. But it doesn't seem to me that this is that. It's her version of the photo as a tattoo. Overall, I think that these claims are just crazy and any court with half a brain in my non-legal expertise opinion, we'll just throw this all out. I think truthfully that he's just going after her because she's famous. Either way, I thought that this story was pretty interesting. There's not too much news surrounding the tattoo community, and I thought that this would be kind of a fun idea. So if you like the newscast, let me know, and I will make more. I'll find more news stories surrounding the tattoo community and try to make, you know, cool videos on them. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you have a good day. Up next, we have a call in from Will Blow Hard. He is a. <laughs> Up next, we have a call in from Will Blow Hard. He is a tornado expert. Expert to weigh in on his findings on why our area is witnessing. <laughs> With recent political tempers flaring, we're gonna go over to Boob Newcomb. So. <laughs> With recent political flares. With recent political. F political. With recent political. Political. I'm gonna go over to Boob Nukem, and he's gonna go over. 
with recent political tempers flaring. We're gonna head over to Boob Nukem's chair. 